Welcome to BizJet TV, Diamond subscribers. This is a special episode for you, all about the Honda Jet. So uh, you've probably seen the Honda Jet video that we've done, new Honda Jet Elite 2. Um, today, we're going to be looking into how much it costs to actually fly one of these things and operate one of these things. We're going to go through a spreadsheet. Uh, so the Honda Jet, as you can see, lovely airplane. Um, this was, you know, it took 10 years for Honda to design it and get the design right and test flight and get it certified. It, it was a long time in the making, but, you know, they took their time. Uh, the interesting feature of this airplane is the um, engines on top of the wing, uh, which is very unusual. It's actually not a new design. It was a design des um, done by the Germans back 30, 40 years ago. Um, and when the aerodynamicists over at Honda were looking at how to create something unique, they thought of doing, um, doing this type of design. And this basically is the reason why the cabin noise inside the Honda jet is very, very low. It's lower than any other private jet, simply because the engines, the way they're mounted on top of the wing like that, uh, when you're in the cabin, there's friends of mine that have a Honda jet, they say in from the cockpit, you can actually hear the clear conversations of, of people sitting in the back in the cabin. So it's that quiet. Um, and that's because of the engines on top of the wing. Um, now, the recent other features that have been done, you, you can click on the link above, see all about the Honda Jet Elite 2. But today we're going to go into the spreadsheet. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to share my other screen with you and go through the thing here. So let's just go over here to share screen and over here to the first item, which is fuel, which is on everybody's mind recently because the fuel price has gone up. So what we've done here for the sake of this exercise is we price fuel at eight dollars per gallon. Some places it is 12, 13, others it is seven. So we kind of average it out at eight dollars per gallon. Now, when you operate your own airplane, uh, whether you're flying yourself or whether you have pilots, um, buying fuel is, is really important. Uh, so lots of airports, for example, in America, even other parts of the world, there are different FBOs. So what you want to do is you want your pilot to ring around and find out where the cheapest fuel is and um, and then make sure you land and get serviced by that FBO. That's the first thing you need to do. The other thing you can do is you can tank a fuel, uh, which means you can carry more fuel than you actually need for the flight. If the, the fuel where you are sitting at the moment is cheaper than where you're going, then you may want to just tank of fuel, take it a bit more extra fuel. Now, that's, yes, that does increase the um, weight of the airplane. But, you know, if you work your performance out, uh, sometimes it is a good idea to tank a fuel, which basically means to fill up where you are because it's cheaper than where you're going. Um, and the other thing you can do is you can do things like, you know, fly at higher altitudes and also do what's called a continuous descent approach. Um, and that really does help where you basically thrust levers to idle and you can all glide all the way down until you bring the landing gear down um, and the flaps and that and that's when you uh, start configuring the airplane and that's when the thrust levers will come up again and the fuel burn will increase but if you do a uh, continuous approach and fly that way you will save some fuel every sector so those are you know two two things that you can do uh, uh you're flying to get the the, the fuel burn down uh, which is at 104.27 gallons per hour, as you can see here from the spreadsheet. The next cost you're going to have is the maintenance, and you've got uh, labor costs per hour, flight hour, labor parts per flight hour, uh, cost per man, average parts per man hour, and engine overhaul. This is all money that you have to put aside um, and calculate um, because you're going to have these maintenance events along the way, and so you have to sort of uh, budget for that as well. And so that uh, comes out to total cost of $173.46. Then you've got miscellaneous flight expenses like landing, parking fees, crew expenses, supplies, catering. Um, so that's uh, another thing um, that we want to put in there. Um, and that gives you an overall direct operating cost, which is the total of all the above of, of just short of $1,900. We then go into, our, and those are the variable costs. And we go into the annual fixed costs such as your captain's salary. Um, now, the Honda Jet is a, a single pilot airplane, which means you could just hire one captain and that's it. Um, or if you're a pilot owner, then you won't be paying for any pilots. You don't need any pilots because you're the pilot yourself. So you could take those things out. But, you know, typically captain's about 82,000 a year, first officer 61,000. Uh, you've then got, you know, the benefits for the crew um, and you've also got the hangar cost. Um, you've got to put that in there. Um, Next, we've got insurance, two insurances here. You've got the hull and the legal liability. And this is the price for a Honda Jet, uh, 9,625 and 12,320 over there, uh, which adds up to 21,945 per year. 
And then we've got training, the pilots, 18,255. Uh, modernization of the aircraft, is anything there needs doing. Um, nav equipment, a depreciation of the aircraft to give you that number there as fixed cost. Seats five, seven, depending on which type of Honda jet you've got and how many seats you put in there. Um, this is the range it's given me here. Uh, and hours, uh, this is uh, nautical miles, you know, flown, uh, 463 hours, total cost, direct, fixed, variable. Um, and there's your price there with depreciation, 1.6 million, with no depreciation, 1.1. Now, of course, this will depend on where you live as far as the de bonus depreciation and what you can do, what you can't do. Um, just to let you know, in the US, uh, bonus depreciation is 100% right now in 2022. That will go down to 80% as, as of the 1st of January 2023. So if you're looking at buying a jet now, get in quick because you've got to not only buy the airplane, but also operate it on a business flight before the 31st of December midnight. And so that gives you a cost per hour of three and just over three and a half thousand dollars per hour uh, or two and a half thousand dollars an hour depending if you've got the bonus depreciate the depreciation cost in there or not um so let's take this figure here it's about three thousand six hundred dollars an hour that's how much it's going to cost you um now you're probably thinking well it's actually cheaper to charter uh, yes it is cheaper to charter because you know as you can see here you've got all these costs um in you know when you charter you're just paying for that flight uh, but when you own an airplane you've got all these fixed costs you know like insurance like your pilots and that that you know you're paying anyway so that's something that you know you need to um consider when you're um buying a private jet um that you know you've got these costs uh, that you're going to be incurring um but you know overall you know three thousand six hundred dollars an hour uh the advantage of having your own honda jet if you fly yourself you can fly it uh you can write off all the flights as a business expense and you can leave when you want um, and that's the advantage. You can put your own stuff on the airplane, have your logo on the airplane, whatever you want to do. Um, that's the great advantage. It's a bit like having your own car. Um, I mean, you know, it's cheaper to rent a taxi from time to time uh, than, than having your own car. But, you know, if you're going to use the car and you've got the car available that suddenly you want to go somewhere, you can jump in the car and go. But it's the same with, with the Honda Jet. So the advantage is, you know, you don't need to travel with the airlines anymore. You can just drive your car up to the aeroplane. The FBO guys will park your car for you, jump in your plane, and off you go. Um, and that's a great advantage. So the Honda Jet's great airplane. I hope you enjoyed this video. And um, post below what other suggestions, recommendations you have for other videos that we're going to be doing here. You guys from the Diamond, uh, the Diamond Club, as I call it, on BizJet TV. And um, that's all from me on this episode of BizJet TV. Check out these other videos on the Honda Jet. I'm sure you'll enjoy them. That's all from Police and Party on BizJet TV. I'll see you in the next one.